What is up guys, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the coolest robot kits I have seen. So these are called Kami Gummy Robots, hopefully I pronounced that right, and they come as kits that you get to slash have to put together, however you want to look at that. After completing the assembly of the set, you will then have your own remote control robot that can battle other robots, dance, be driven around, and more. As well, I do feel that these are aimed a little bit more at kids due to the fact that they show kids in all the advertisements of these things, and overall they look a bit kiddish too, but if you're older and still think these are pretty cool, then don't let that hold you back. So as far as putting these things together, it did take me a pretty good amount of time and effort, so anyone who's probably maybe under 10, 11-ish is going to need a little help. And the assembly isn't some quick and super easy task, but I think that's sort of a good thing since it gives anyone who builds it a sense of how things work and function together. In total, there are three different robots, each with their own unique look, and they go for about $100 each, or two for $150. So, they're definitely not cheap, but the nice people at Dash Robotics have the hookup for anyone watching this video. Just use code TECHCORE at checkout and you'll receive a 50% off any robot of your choice, which is a pretty darn good amount. As well, this code will only work for the first 100 purchasers. Okay, so controlling these robots is done completely through the free app, which can be found on both Android and iOS. The app, however, is much better on iOS at the moment due to the fact that the Android app is lacking any features to create your own game and is a bit buggier, but that should be fixed soon with upcoming updates. The app is put together really well and provides you with a bunch of features from the get-go. We'll get into more detail on some of these, but you can straight up just drive the robot around, play games by yourself or with other robots, or even create your own. So while driving around your robot of choice, you'll find a bunch of in-depth details on the status of your robot in the upper portion of your screen, which can be switched out with different info via some swipes. Under that, you have a slider for adjusting the speed, a joystick for controlling direction, and some buttons for changing the color of its eyes, or for other triggers. Overall, controlling these things is pretty easy, and initially it's a lot of fun. Another big part of these robots is the ability to create your own games and customize all the controls. When making a new game, you can give it a name, description, and then continue on to adding all the triggers, which are the actions that cause something to happen. I really like how diverse the triggers are and how there's a pretty good selection of things to do. Some triggers include buttons being pushed, your robot falling, being flipped over, turning, detecting changes in light, and more. After setting the method of activation, you can then customize the action itself by having the robot play a noise, change eye color, rotate, beam a signal to another robot, end the game, and more. As you can tell, you're definitely provided with the options to get creative and cook up your own unique game mode. As well, I'd have to say, this is probably my favorite part of the robots. On the other hand, if you don't feel like making your own game, you can always go to the pre-made ones which include Freeze Tag, Sumo, and Afraid of the Dark. At top speed, these things reach about 5 feet per second, and as well, battery life is pretty great with it lasting me plenty of sessions of use without dying. Also, these robots are pretty darn durable, so you're not going to have to worry about them breaking after a big fall or anything. Overall, these robots serve quite a few purposes, and this might sound a bit dumb or cheesy, but they do a great job at combining fun and a little bit of learning together. I personally think knowing how all the little things inside the robot work and are put together is pretty awesome, but I don't know if every child or whoever buys this is up for all the work. Some people may just want to get straight to the action, but you never know, because it varies from person to person. I think that these things are worth the price with the code, but without it they seem just a tiny bit overpriced, but whether or not you think it's too expensive, they're definitely at least going to provide you with some short to medium length fun. Thanks for watching, if you're interested in taking a further look into these robots, the link will be down in the description. As well, don't forget to use code TECHCORE for a 50% discount on one item. As well, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more awesome stuff like this every week, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.